Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hay, physical therapist. Uh, I don't even like to sit there for a little while. Uh, by the way, we're both the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Uh, today, Brad, we're going to talk about seven alarming ways bad posture is ruining your health and success. Plus, a simple fix is going to be shown. All right, Bob, I really wanted to do it. We both have a passion for posture. And literally, like there, are, there are seven things that can drastically affect your life, your appearance, your body, your your health, your orthopedic issues, all those things. It's uh we we're it's, gonna get to it. It's a little bit shocking actually it is. How, how much it can I mean it can really you can start having pain to the point where you can't even function. Right. It can cause and, a surgery. And it's, yeah. It can lead to that. Anyways, if uh, you're we, new to our channel, oh. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. What are we giving away? We don't know. We don't. It's a future video. Oh, good. So go to the giveaway section. Find out what we're giving away. It might be a mattress or something big like that. Could, yeah, could, yeah. We should do a booyah stick again. Yeah, booyah okay. stick, posture gun. I mean, uh, <laughs> massage gun. gun. Massage gun, not a posture gun. <laughs> oh, you go to Facebook. It'll also be pinned to the top of the page of the contest. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. You're retired of our rambling and want, us, and want us to only a 60 second version of our program. That's and if you it. want more rambling while well, looking at us, you can go to the podcast. We have some podcast. wonderful podcasts. Really good interviews. That's right. Okay, uh, posture. Let's go to the first reason why posture gives you so much problems. Uh, it has to do with your neck. Uh, when you have poor posture, your head goes forward, puts a great deal of stress, particularly on the low neck or the upper uh, cervical vertebra, causing headaches, cause uh, a disc to actually yeah, herniate and rupture, problem. cause a pinched nerve. So we really need to take care of our necks with our posture. Number yeah, for, two. For every inch you go forward, that's another 10 pounds of stress on your neck. Right. That's so not number goes, two, but uh, he's... Number two is the shoulder. You, it affects you. People don't realize that actually poor posture affects your shoulder. Look at me here. I'm going to have poor posture, and I'm going to try to raise my shoulder up. Mm -hmm. Look how far I go. That's it. I can't go any higher. Right. Now, I'm going to stand with really good posture. Whoa. Right. It goes all the way up. And yeah. if it's down like this, that means it's pinching. It's right. getting impingement. It's causing pain. So if you're at the computer and going like this, you're mm. actually causing pain and problems and impingement. They say 70% of shoulder pain is from an impingement problem. So we need to work on that posture. It's not a minor thing. Number three, how you can breathe is incredibly affected by your posture. Yes. If you're, you know, let's go here, give a profile. If I'm lean forward and slouch forward, it takes, takes your visceral organs, your abdominal content, pushes that into your diaphragm, which limits your volume of breathing. Also, your rib cage is not able to expand as it would like to is when you're up to here, and then you can breathe and really uh, take in a lot more volume, which is going to give you more energy. It's going to change, make big difference in your life. It's actually the problem is ankylosing spondylitis, Brad. Everything starts tightening up, and they have trouble with breathing. Sure. You know, so yep, it I all works. Throw that in there. I'm glad okay. you did. Next one, uh, back. Um, you can start, if you're back, you're holding into a flex position the majority of the day, like you sit yep. or you lift sure. or you carry things with a bent posture yep. like this, you start to develop a disc problem uh, that mm. puts pressure on the disc and actually push out the back and it can push on a nerve. It can give you a sciatica. It's probably the number one cause of sciatica is posture. Yeah, posture. Poor seated posture. Poor seated. Poor biomechanics. Yes. Right. The next one, Number this five. is this is huge, I think, Bob. It has yeah. nothing to do with, with pain and, uh, you know, the the anatomy as far as, uh, not the anatomy, but as far as being sick. But right. it has a lot to do with your appearance. Yes. You look so much better when you're up, yes. tall, posture. You know, if you go to a job interview and you walk in slouched, you're not going to get the job. Yeah. Unless everyone else looks like that. They're, well, then they're right. going to look for someone else. But appearance is a credible amount of... Uh, uh, what people think of you, what you think yourself. Well, I think it also makes you look way older. I mean, if I see someone and they're slouched oh. over, uh, you know, like an older man or mm -hmm. older woman, you, right. they look that much older. Mm -hmm. 
But they come along and they got good posture. Oh, they must be younger. Right. So, yep, head up, shoulders back. Uh, you're going to get the job. You're going to look younger. All good stuff. Uh, All right, next thing is uh, people don't understand this, but believe it or not, if your head is forward, it actually affects your jaw the way you can chew it. Just try this once. Put your head away forward and try to swallow. Yeah. It's hard to do. So you got to actually, one of the things, uh, when I went to TMGA courses, the temper mandibular joint, that's the jaw joint, mm -hmm. uh, the jaw joint, TMJ. <laughs> um, you actually teach the person, you work on postures. The first thing you yep. do to try to help take away jaw pain. Sure. Because poor posture will lead to poor arthrokinematics. Yeah, the mechanics of yeah. the joint. Yeah, it changes. Uh, and if you think about it, if you ever try and swallow, you got something yeah. to swallow, you always go, yeah, you straighten up a little bit. Things go down easier uh, as opposed to going through a zigzaggy esophagus. Right. We should be speech therapists. Your daughter, she could That's probably right. fill us. She's a speech pathologist. She could on that. That's right. Uh, next one, should we talk about uh, Dowager's hump? Uh, or hunchback. Hunchback. Yeah. You get that, that break yeah. back here. Um, and you get that big bump at the bottom of your neck, too, yes. or in the middle of your back. Yeah. And both of them are very unattractive, I'm sorry to say. Right. And painful. They yeah. can relate to a lot of painful and changes. And that's from posture. Yeah. I mean, people think that it just uh, grew on its own, but no, that's because of poor right. posture. I mean, there could be some genetics yeah, involved. Yeah, a little bit of genetics. Yeah. But, but one way or another, there's the seven things uh, that are really affecting or could affect your life just by or posture. So we're going to show you some ways to correct it now. Wow. Should we go to the first one? Yeah, let's go to the first one. All right. Right. Seated posture. All right. Uh, which is a big part of problems, especially at the computer, the workstation, or in the car. Sometimes one of the, the keys table. to this is that you do it throughout the day. You just don't yeah. do it once and go, okay, I did it. Now I'm going to, I'm going to have good posture. Yep. No, you got to fight it constantly. Yep. So up and back. And this is, I like this one for Bobby. It reminds me, you say, Hallelujah. You yeah. don't have to say that. In my head, my head, I say that. Yeah. Well, at home, maybe by myself. That's but sure. you bring your arms up. It's kind of like the W stretch. This is right. mine, a W for Wisconsin, not, not sure. Minnesota. This would be. Yeah, Minnesota. It's a, yeah. It's a personal inside joke. You Anyways, can, you can stretch. actually bring it all the way overhead, too, because yep. you are going to be doing the Ws, too, right? Oh, yes. And so why don't you do Hallelujah. these straight up? Yeah. W's, and if you have a chair you can lean back on that doesn't go too high, just go right back right over. over the edge of it. Yep, and breathe in and exhale. And you'll notice when you do this, you can clearly get more oxygen, more air into those lungs. So, now, oh, a little trick here uh, developed actually by Mike. Um, one of our crew members. Right. He's a physical therapist assistant. Uh, yeah. He came up with this idea, and we've been using it for years with our patients as well as each other. You take the ball. Oh, oh. darn. Get it behind your back. Sometimes I get lower. lucky. There, you there go. we go. And the ball, it has to be a softball, not like a basketball. This is a kickball here type yeah. thing. Yeah, we took it from or the neighbor's ball. kids. Yeah. Just kidding. So, <laughs> they gave it to us. It hey. Was we stretch back after we took the candy. Yeah. So um, the thing that that's nice about the ball is you can put it in different spots in the right. back. I honestly, if you work at a desk, you should have one of these balls. Just go to the big box store, yep. get a ball, and uh, you're gonna find out that this alone it not only reminds you to do it, but it, it can hit all spots in your back. It just yeah. works really well. Yeah. It's, it really was a, I can tell right now I'm a little lower, and that feels like that's what needs it a little bit more. Yeah, uh, look it, how he's stretching that chest muscles, uh, you know, so he can open the breathing up and 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 can solve that problem of not being able to breathe well. Oh, so, yeah. All right. Brian. All right, good. Uh, what's <laughs> the next one? Wall angels. Well, would you want to do chin tucks since you're down here, Brad? Yeah. So, and this one's, so you could yeah, do we, this one while you're driving, yeah. while you're sitting. Right. But to do the chin tuck, you need to be here first. Yeah, good posture. You don't yeah. want to be down here and do a chin tuck. Yeah. So. I was doing these once at a red light, you know, yeah. Yeah, in, in my car. I'm thinking, I oh, posh, I better do some chin tucks. And the person in the car next over looks at me like, what the heck? Yeah, is yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm thinking about chin tucks. What do you think? Yeah. You know, anyways, it was kind of funny. I was laughing inside. Um, next one. Oh, the final one. Wally. Yeah. Does. I think 
I think you came up with this one, Bob. Or oh no, this no. has been around. For it years. is. Yeah, oh, well, I can't remember. So use the wall. Lean up against the wall. Put your butt up against the wall. Your shoulders. Bring your shoulders back, and then the W again up against the wall. And now, if you're really tight, you will not be able to get your arms up against the wall yet. But don't worry, you can do them away from the wall. He, that's where he's doing the wall angel. Yep. He's making the wings. Yep. And uh, you can. You can see again any progress yeah. by you tell how close how you are. Yeah, yeah, how close you are and how high you even can get. your head. You want to see if you can get your head back without some, yeah. Some people can't touch the, their oh, head. Back. A lot of people can. I mean it, you yeah, have to, if you're going, going like this, that. that's cheating. We want yeah. to go, you know, like go back this. like this. Yeah. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a little project when I when I'm painting next at our house. When the wall is all wet, I'm going to go up against the wall and I'm going to go like this mm -hmm. and take a picture of it and use that for show and tell. Why don't you do it when they pour your cement driveway or whatever? <laughs> Another good idea. <laughs> Excellent. That's a haiku. All right. Haiku. Uh, next one. That's it. That's it. That's all of them. Yeah. I remember, Brad See, and I can fix just about anything. Posture correction can be fun, <laughs> except for. A broken heart. That's but right. We're working on a broken heart, and you know Brad's going to finally start putting some time into it. He's been slacking off. Yeah, so. I'm going to put another chapter in it tonight. Yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs>